Purnima and I welcome you all to my class and uh, in my previous video channel I have uh, done the revision of letter writing and I have done the revision of uh, informal letter and once again children I am going to do the same uh, and I am going to continue with the same lesson but this time I am going to do formal letter with you. But before revising children let me before revising formal letter let me revise something which I have taught you in, in my previous video. Two minutes revision we will do and then we will continue back the formal letter. So first of all you must know what is a letter. Okay. So what is a letter? Letter children is a mean of communication. Uh, we communicate through writing. Okay, our thoughts are exchanged. So this is a letter and I have told, to, told you in my previous video that children, letter writings are of two types. So first letter is formal letter, informal letter that we have already discussed with you. And now is formal. Informal letter and then formal. Okay, informal and formal uh, letter. So we have already done this letter, informal. And I'm going to tell you once again, children, what is the difference between informal and formal. So in informal letter, children, it is a totally a personal touch is there in such type of letter. And we write such type of letter uh, with the, to our near and dear ones like our parents our uncle, auntie, grandparents, friends, okay, acquaintances. So, uh, and we can express anything in this type of letter. Even the format is a bit different, bit different is uh, you will find in informal letter. So, um, here you can express anything. You can share your feeling here in the informal letter. And first of all, it is written to near and dear one. While as formal letter, it don't have any personal touch no personal touch so we are going to do this letter today no personal touch or tone and we, we can't express everything here we can't express everything here then children only uh, relevant point should be there Okay, which should be brief, simple and lucid. Okay, so uh, this should be brief, simple and lucid. Okay, so relevant point. So children, now uh, uh, in today's topic, our today's topic is the formal letter and uh, what is the difference between formal and informal. In formal letter children, uh, what is being discussed here, in formal letter, what is being discussed children, it is, the, it is not uh, having any personal touch or a tone, it is having, uh, we can't express everything here and relevant point should be there only a relevant point should be there in the formal letter okay so formal letters are those letters where we don't have personal touch we can't express everything relevant point should be there in the letter now uh, one more thing children about formal letter we should i will tell you that uh, formal letters are of various type okay like uh, There are four five types of formal letters are there like we are having official letter, we are having business letter, we are having uh, children letters to the editors. Then applications and 
job applications with bio data okay so formal letter children we are having uh, five types of formal letter are there and i will be teaching you in your course uh, in a job application is not there but i will tell you what is a job application and where and where it is used so first let me describe official letter of children official letter when anything officially is written like children if your scooty is lost so where you will go and complain you will go to the um, sho of sigra police station or wherever the scooty is lost so that is a official suppose children if electricity wire is broken okay and you have to complain about it so, so that letter is an official letter now um, children some complain you have to do okay so that is an official letter but if you have to do the complain of a washing machine or a tv system which you have bought and the picture of the television is coming blurred no sound you can hear it properly then what type of letter children you will be that will be, what type of letter you will write you will write a business letter so such type of letter will be known as business letter now letters to the editors are those letter which is written to the editors by the common people uh, many people are confused they think it is the editors who write the letter but it is not that so it is the common people and they can write uh, children letters to anything or on some burning topic they can criticize this they can support it they can uh, write about their views okay on any topic like children like our when article uh, 67 361 was there so lot of uh, people have sent their articles okay similarly children when covid 19 was there uh, in the first lockdown many people have sent uh, articles to the newspaper i mean they present their views okay they can criticize also they can praise also they can support also and that letter is written to the editors so don't get confused that it is a uh, uh, editor who are writing the letter but it is the common people who are writing the letter now application to learn many applications are also um, in the category of formal letter many people say it is a a uh, semi formal letter but uh, it's okay it's semi or not semi but it will come in the category of formal letter okay so job application then they is there there if any job is there from some media you got it from tv from some newspaper so for any job you have to write an application and children when you will write an application mm, and Uh, you have to put your bio data. What is the bio data? That name, educational qualification, name of father. If you are working somewhere, then how how much salary you are drawing, or uh, and uh, children any uh, some special designation you are having. So whatever is there, or there uh, that that will be written in the bio data. So children, but this is not in your syllabus. Job application is not in your syllabus. It, so this four type of letter we will get uh, we will learn and before children since this is a writing section and as i told you while teaching you uh, informal letter i told you that there is a particular format for a writing section whatever type of writing section it is but there is a particular format for that okay so let me tell you about the format of the formal letter okay about the format of the formal letter whenever we are having a writing section uh, we will uh, uh, have to write according to the format so that for format i am going to teach you now children there are eight points in the format of the formal letter okay each um, point i will be explaining you individually 
okay separately i will be first i will tell you how many points are there in the format letter so there are totally eight points so first is sender's address then date then receiver's address then children salute uh, subject salutation okay salutation subject receiver center salutation center center date receiver center subject salutation then body of the letter in three to four paragraphs then seventh is subscription and eight is subscription and eight is name okay send So children, this is the format of the. We have to write eight points in the format of the formal letter. Now I will be explaining you all the points individually. But before that, you try to understand. So first of all, uh, in the format, first thing, sender's address is uh, there. Okay. So sender's address means children, the person who is writing the letter. That is known as sender's address. The person who is writing the letter. That is known as Sender's address, okay, and then you have to write the date. Date you don't have to write like this. What I put it here, I will be telling you how to write the date, which we have already discussed in earlier also. Then receiver's address that means the person to whom you are sending the letter. The person to whom you are sending the letter that is known as receiver's address, and then to the subject. Subject should be written in brief. It should be clear. clear thing should be there okay then salutation okay sir or ma'am no comma after sir or ma'am should be there then children body of the letter should come in 3 to 4 paragraph okay 3 to 4 paragraph body of the letter should be there okay and moreover children uh, subscription you have to write the subscription okay in the body of the letter three part should be there uh, introductory part then the main part and then the concluding part and i will be telling you when i will be explaining you the letter then subscription is there children subscription is how to write the letter and of course name and sender's address so this is the way when we write a letter and uh, i will be telling you students that uh, uh, i will be discussing you now each format Uh, the these parts eight parts separately so my first part is sender's address so here you have to see like i will i'm going to write one address should be there in sender's address first house number or quarter number or lot number then children name of the of the road and then the name of the colony and then name of city so children 
these five things are there. Okay, you have to whenever you write the sentence address, you have to see. Okay, house number, quarter number or plot number, then name of the road or uh, children mark like Gandhi mark or name of the street or lane should be there. Then name of the colony. This is you can see I have written here the name of the colony. Then children name of the city. You can see here I have written the name of the city Varanasi. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four things should be there, and the most important thing is that children, um, we don't have any punctuation mark. Just write it, write a note that we should not have no punctuation mark. You can see, you can see children in whole of the address. You can see there is no comma or full stop. So nowadays we are writing like that. Now children, second is date. So you will write 0, 6 January 2021. So this is the way children we write the date we write like this. Okay, we write the date not like this. But we write them like this, like we used to write in the notice writing, we are writing in all in formal letter as well as in formal letter. Okay, so sender, sender, one, two, three, four things, just remember four things should be there. And date we write like this, okay. You cannot write children jam, it is wrong, or jam, January, this is wrong, okay. You cannot also write like this, like many people write. This is also wrong. Only simple, like in this manner. And one thing let me tell you children, a small comma should be there in the date after the name of the month. And the name of the month should be written with a capital letter. They should be written with a capital letter. So children, even second part I discussed. Now we will come to the third part. We will come to the third part. That is receivers. Children, this is the part where we have to do a, a little bit of thinking. Suppose if you are writing a letter to the children, some traffic police, so you have to write the traffic manager. Or if your scooty is uh, or bike is stolen, then you will write the receiver's address, you will write the SHO, uh, Nadesa police station, Varansi, something like that. Okay. Or the chairman, APS Varansi, or the manager, or the director. Uh, children, if it is the editor of the newspaper, so you have to write the editor, the Hindustan Times or the Times of India and then New Delhi. You also have to see whether the name of the local newspaper is there or not. Okay, so this you have to see. Okay, sender's address, date, receiver's address, subject, salutation, body of the letter, subscription, name and then the receiver's address. This you have to see. Okay. Now, um, children, this you have to see uh, that the letter is, uh, the who is receiving the letter that is uh, very important. If it is an official letter, then who is receiving? If it is a business letter, who is receiving? If it is a job application, who is receiving? If it is a letter to editor, then who is it receiving? All this thing you have to see. Then comes children, subject. So, subject we write in, in brief. And here children, in third, no uh, punctuation mark should be there. No punctuation marks. Okay, subjects children will write in brief and in very simple language. 
this should be covering all points if the child if anybody will read the subject uh, of your letter he or she will uh, children understand in first glance that uh, what is this letter is about okay so subject is should be written in such a way now children we will come to the sixth point that is body of the letter no we will come to the fifth point that is salutation in salutation we only write salutation we only write sir or ma'am and there should be no comma no comma after sir or ma'am okay no comma after sir or ma'am okay now till we will write the six point that is body of the letter so this point should be the body of the letter a body of the letter introduction introductory part main part concluding part so children your uh, body of the letter is divided into three four paragraph you have to write okay in informal you can write four paragraph also but in formal letter at least you have to write three paragraph that's all so while writing three paragraph you have to write the introductory part of the letter then you have to write the main part of the letter and you have to write the concluding part of the letter okay so this is being written here now we will write the subscription uh, okay so in subscription children we have to write in subscription subscription you have to write yours faithfully yours faithfully or yours uh, sincerely with the uh, children application and job application you have to write yours obediently if you are writing only job this is for applications okay you are faithfully or sincerely or obediently or then children if it is a letter of uh, editor then you have to write yours Truly, if it is letter two, if it is letter to the editor, okay. So, children, this I have explained you about the format of the letter, and now, children, I am sometimes one the most important thing is that children. you have to see what is written in the letter what is written in the letter this you have to see okay so what you have to what is written inside the letter that you have to see now the question is now i'm going to read one question for you um you are anjali और अजय देव ऑफ हाउस नंबर 101 सेक्टर 22 चंडीगढ़ नाउ चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट बाय रीडिंग यू हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट दैट व्हाट थिंग्स आर बीइंग गिवन हियर यू आर अंजनी और अजय देव सो सेंटेंस नेम इज देयर ऑफ हाउस नंबर 101 सेक्टर 22 चंडीगढ़ सो चिल्ड्रन यू आर अजय देव ऑफ हाउस नंबर 101 सेक्टर 22 चंडीगढ़ यू आर ग्रेटली डिस्टर्ब बाय द 
increase in traffic so children you are disturbed by the increase in traffic comma pollution and uncleanliness in your city write a letter to the chairman of the municipal corporation so children here you have to write the chairman of the municipal corporation the receiver's address is being given here chandigarh throwing light on these aspects and seeking cooperation in keeping the city clean so you have seen children what things are given here what we will write in the sender's address since so sender's address is there so we will write what is there house number 101 okay house number is there sector 22 chairman municipal corporation municipal chair the chairman municipal corporation and b14 sector 7 what you will write subject subject in sanitary condition in sector 20 then you need have to write sir and from here you have to write your letter okay so i am going to read the letter okay and you can see how letters are written so let's start our letter i'm i am this or you can say this is to bring to your kind notice that our locality is suffering from a deplorable condition due to lack of water due to proper civic civic amenities okay the increase in traffic pollution and negligence to maintain the city road clean have caused a serious problem for the local residents the increase in traffic has resulted in traffic jam and accident have increased no person for clearance of local residents the increase in traffic has resulted in traffic jam and accident have increased no person for clearance of the refugee lying on the road is seen for the last few weeks the filth on the road is further getting scattered by stray dogs and cow it is now children this was in the second paragraph it is very difficult to breathe in this stinking environment 
the sweepers do two pile heaps of rubbish on the road side which breeds small harmful insects um children in the last paragraph you have to write i therefore earnestly request you to investigate the matter and help to clean the city clean otherwise our city may have a serious outbreak of cholera in the new year future so children with this i end my video here of course children what you will write in the subscription that is the most important point so you will write yours faithfully this you will write as the subscription and your name what is the name given here names were also given if you were a boy write anjali if you are a girl write ajay dev so anjali so you can see children i have written now so many things were given here uh, children here sender address was there so we do we don't have to think then children to whom you have to write the chairman of the municipal corporation okay this address was there so we have written subject we have written in brief it is clear and body of the letter i have discussed with you and finally children your subscription and your name remember don't put any apostrophe here in yours okay so with this i conclude my video here thank you and have a nice day ahead